okay so welcome back to my channel i just casually drove around town looking for a good filming spot and i was originally going to come here to where i'm filming right now but then there were two grown men on the swings so i decided against um filming here drove to another park where i was like oh there's probably because i wanted to film outside and change things up but I wanted to go film at a different park and I pulled into the parking lot and there were two girls like sunbathing and I was like okay so not there and so I am now back at park number one and we're gonna start filming the grown men are leaving are gone and it's just old men fishing so you know whatever but stories aside welcome back to my channel so it is now summer and i guess i'm gonna kick off my summer series of videos with a reflection on sophomore year and being 50 percent done with college so let's get right into it i guess one of the biggest things that i learned sophomore year is that you'll find your people I struggled a lot during my freshman year or at least at least the first semester with finding people that I thought I fit in with and like could truly be my friends during college um, and so I kind of floated in and out of having people who were like acquaintances but not really close friends and it kind of was a hard time for me just because back home I have a pretty solid group of friends and at school I didn't have that kind of support system yet and so it was like weird to be without it um, but I promise you for everyone going into college and those of you who are currently in college you will find your people and I guess this is for future Lauren too um, as different chapters of your life change um, you'll find your people it just takes a little bit of time I guess one of the next lessons I learned going off of that friend point is that to make sure that I always have time for friends back home because like even though our lives are changing, we're, our lives are changing and we're changing, our friendship doesn't change and I love, yeah, I just like really love my friends from home because I know I can always come back to home and know that they're there and we can always like pick up right where we left off just catch up and it's like nothing changed and it's kind of funny because we don't text a ton we don't really talk a ton during the school year but whenever summer hits we always come back and it's like nothing changed and I'm just like wow friends it's just it makes me so soft wow um but yeah big hearts for you guys um but I know people are always like really quick to cut ties with people that they were friends with back home and I mean I've been friends with these people since like first and second grade and I know like there's statistics out there that say you change friends every seven years um, which is true because you do like you have like first grade through sixth grade so seventh or kindergarten through sixth grade and then seventh grade your friends change and then um, for the next six years of high school like you're friends with them but then freshman year like it changes again um, but it's always really nice to know that we've gone through two cycles of that seven year friend change and we're still friends now and that's really great so don't be so quick to cut people out of your life when you go to college I guess and then going along with all the friendship um is another thing i learned is just like always make time to tell your loved ones that you love them and show it to them and make sure that they know that because it hit me hard that life's short and life changes fast so you should always take time to make sure that your loved ones know that they um that they're loved so <laughs> I'm choking up exactly what I said I wouldn't do but yeah so even when you're really busy even if it means just like sending someone a text message reaching out to your friends and letting them know you're there for them and um just like those little small things it doesn't have to be a big grand gesture or it can be if that's your type of thing I think like another thing I've learned and it wasn't just uh, so much a sophomore year thing but a 50% of college thing but it's just like learning how to take rejection and understanding that 
not everything will always go exactly as you hope it will um freshman year i was rejected from the tour guide group i was rejected from like our dance marathon i just really really wanted to be involved on campus and everywhere that i kept looking and trying to get involved i would get rejected and that was really hard because i was heavily involved when i was in high school and going into college i wanted to do the exact same thing but everything works itself out like you know i'm involved with american sign language club on campus and um i've met some great friends through it i've learned a ton i've pushed for change on campus um we have an american sign language club now because of some of the work that we've done with the club um and so in the end I'm still heavily involved on campus. I am involved with my sorority. I was accepted to that. But like another thing is like aside from clubs is internships. I'm sure I'm for everyone out there watching this video, you are not the only person who keeps getting rejected from internships or straight ghosted by internships. It is not just you it is tons of other people um and i struggled with that a lot because i would apply to 30 plus internships freshman year sophomore year and i either would get into the interview and then get ghosted or um just wouldn't get a response at all but just like no that it happens to everyone. You have to keep trying and you can't really let that rejection get to you. Um, and if you're really passionate about something, you know, keep trying. Even though I was rejected from a ton of internships, I still got one that's like an amazing opportunity. I've had just the coolest experiences. I got the chance to work a red carpet and um, bring celebrities onto that carpet. And it's just like, but yeah, going along, I know I've mentioned it, but I think everything happens for a reason or somewhere deep down, I think everything happens for a reason and you need to, or I constantly have to remind myself of that. I kind of struggle with accepting that things sometimes happen and it's out of your control. Um, I always really want to be able to make sure everything's the outcome that I'm hoping for or the outcome that I plan for, but that's not the case. You can't plan for everything. I just wanted to take this video to take a step back and reflect on everything that's happened in the past two years given that I'm now 50% done with college and my head still can't wrap itself around that. But along the way I've clearly learned some things and I just wanted to share. So thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video.